Now with some information about the data types, let's try to reclassify the information models one more time. So there are attribute views, the analytical views, the calculation views and the decision table. Now the golden question is when to use these views. So it all depends on the data you are trying to consume. If you are trying to consume the master data, say you want to know the text of a material. In that case, the attribute view should be used. When you want to consume the master data along with the transaction data, then the analytical view should be your choice. When there are aggregations to be done, that means you want to know the maximum price of a product or you want to know the average price or average time for the delivery or you want to do some other mathematical calculation, in those cases, you should always use the analytical view. If all the calculation is being done in the analytical view, then what is the need of the calculation view? When you need to do a union or a join of two analytical views, then you cannot do it in the analytical view. You have to take the help of the calculation view. So, when there is more than one analytical view to be consumed, you always go with the calculation view. And also, you can do the union or the join of the views in the calculation view. Decision table is usually used for planning as I already informed. So planning means, say you want, you give a discount to your customer. So you need to do a planning, say if I give a 5% or a 10% discount for one year, how long can I sustain the business? Also. You do not want to incur losses. So what is the break even point where you want to give a discount or give some offer? So those scenarios are done in the decision table. So we will not cover in this course but it is just for your understanding. So what happens behind the scene of this attribute views, analytical views and calculation views? So which engines comes into play? So if there is an attribute view then that is consumed by the join engine. If there is an analytical view, then the OLAP engine takes care of it because OLAP engine is a very high performance um, engine which can do the aggregations in the fly. Therefore, whenever there is an analytical view, the OLAP, OLAP engine comes into picture. And as the name suggests, for calculation view, the calculation engine comes into picture. So it, it is more robust and it can do more complex um, calculations. You might be wondering how does the system identify or determine which engines to choose. It all depends on the data. So if there is a master data or if there is a join between a master data and the text, then the join engine is the most efficient one. If there is aggregation, then the OLAP as the name suggests online analytical processing. So the processing engine kicks in and then when you have to calculate two or more analytical views union and joins then the calculation view comes in calculation engine comes into picture that is the beauty of the hana models that is we do not need to worry the sql optimizer of the hana database does all those uh, calculation for us and determines the best engine to be used and whenever these views are generated in the back end the sql scripts are written in the database layer whenever you activate the models. So without any technical knowledge, without any programming knowledge, without any SQL knowledge, you just created a bunch of SQL queries which can run in the database and perform a very fast um, calculation and give you the desired result. So this is the famous engine drag diagram which I copied from SAP's um, PPT. So this is very clear here. The OLAP engine is used for the analytical views, the join engine used for the attribute view and the calculation engine is used for the calculation views. So you should, you should remember this diagram.